Mr. McCartney. My name is Lino. I am a great grandson of Harold the Grasshopper. Before he passed away, he asked us to find a way to tell you about his extraordinary experience that caused a major transformation in the collective consciousness of all grasshoppers. Would you allow me a little personal interjection in this part of the story? Humans are kind of stupid. How can they destroy these beautiful Sahara forests? They're full of flowers, waterfalls, and all kinds of animals. Who would trade all this diversity for soy and cattle? You know, they use a lot of pesticides in soybean plantations, which kill all kinds of insects, including grasshoppers. You want to know the worst part of it all? The cattle all go to those horrible slaughterhouses. It's like a horror movie. But please, pardon my digression. I do not want to ruin the celebration. Today is a very special day. My great grandfather told the story like this. It was a normal day, another standard day, looking for food and flying around the gigantic soy plantation. We had come back to base when from afar, we saw an extremely bright light. Instinctively, we flew in that direction. I was surprised by the number of humans at the gathering. It looked like a giant swarm. I had never seen anything like it before. I was quite scared, yet completely fascinated by the light. It was a sound light. Among ecstasy, confusion, and other sensations amid thousands of other grasshoppers captivated by the light, I was able to land on the shoulder of a human singing. I thought I was on God's shoulders, the creator of sound and light. A current of energy went through my body and exploded like a big bang. I was paralyzed and I believed I was becoming united to the Great Spirit. All my atoms, molecules, and energy had undergone a transformation. It was a fantastic upgrade. The singer said, This is my friend Harold. Say hi to everybody, Harold. After my great-grandfather experienced this, we became much more illuminated beings. Look at me, Mr. McCartney. We were shining much brighter than a firefly. Isn't that amazing? You can say that we have reached a state of enlightenment. Dear Mr. McCartney, my great-grandfather really wanted to see you again. But life is short, and only just now am I able to pass his message of gratitude along to you. We will always be by your side, inspiring you so that you may live a long life, and so you can share this amazing sound and light experience with all beings on this earth for a long time to come. With all our love, the grasshoppers. Hello, Harold. Say hello to the people. 